Google people. I'm super, super excited. I got lots of stuff to share with you. This hat looks like a flying saucer. <laughs> I'm looking at it, I'm like, whoa. Okay, in real life, it doesn't look this big. But on this live, it looks like I'm wearing a sombrero. It's like crazy big. Anyways, I digress. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not here to talk about this hat. Guys, if you are coming in live, type live in the comments. If you're coming in on the replay, type replay. I'll go back. I'll give you some love as usual. Um, hopefully, I'm in the right page. <laughs> I've got a lot of things going on on this Facebook, and uh, I get confused as to where I am. So hopefully, I'm on my personal page. Someone alert me if I'm not. But guys, I've got three things that I'm going to talk to you about with Instagram today, um, but a couple of updates. Number one, if you have been following me, if you're a social seller, network marketer, direct sales, whatever you want to call it, um, a lot of the live trainings that I've been doing have been moved to my group. It's a free group. Those social marketing chicks, um, it's literally, like I said, free. It's all tips, training, information, video training, all kinds of stuff in there um, to help you recruit more people, make more sales, um, basically blow up your businesses as a network marketer, as a social seller with like newer, um, up-to-date information <laughs> to help you navigate social media the right way. So if you want to be put in there, drop, um, put me in the group below and I will um, get you in there. Tons of really good information, tons of really good stuff in there. So that's number one. Okay. Um, in case you've been wondering if you're like, where have our lives gone? That's where they're at. They're inside of this new group. And this group is fantastic. Tons of motivation, daily, daily motivation, inspiration, training, um, and you know, giggles, of course, because I can't leave out the circus. <laughs> As usual. So, um, so that's the first thing. Okay. Now the second thing is I'm going to dive into Instagram. I have really been like working on Instagram something fierce you guys and if Instagram is a mystery to you it's completely confusing you're not really sure where to start where to go drop a one in the comments if that's you um because I know that's how it was for me whenever I first started whenever I first jumped onto Instagram I was like completely confused by it hey Christine hey Tammy hey Andrea um I was completely confused by it um it made no sense to me. I didn't know how to build it. I didn't know where to start. Um, and actually when I jumped into network marketing, when I jumped into social selling, I didn't have an Instagram at all. Like I didn't even have that platform in any way, shape or form. So I've been building it. Um, there's been a lot of things that I have been doing to help grow my Instagram. Um, and they've been working really, really well. Um, I'm almost to 8,000 followers at this point. My goal is to be at 10,000 um, by next month. And um, I think it's totally doable, especially I've, I've been trying to really actively grow it in the past year. Um, and uh, it's, it's going really, really well. So I'm going to share some of the tips that I've been doing with you. Number one, I will, I, before I say that, I want to preface this by saying, do not do things on Instagram like buy followers or buy engagement or anything like that, guys. I'm telling you, it doesn't end well. Instagram hates it. They, their, their algorithm detects it, and you will get your account banned. You'll get your account turned off. It'll be deleted, um, all kinds of stuff. And then not to mention your trust score goes down. So Oh, thank you, Kimmy. That's so nice. I'm, I hope this was going to be a good one if, if you're into Instagram at all. Um, so here's, here's the tips. I, I, I'm going to, I just wanted to let you guys know, don't grow your Instagram like that. I know there's a lot of scams on there. I know there's a lot of people that are like, okay, <laughs> you know, you can buy 10,000 followers or you can buy this engagement or whatever. Don't do that. Um, that's going to hurt you. And, and besides, as a social seller, as a network marketer, you need your followers to be engaged with you. You need your followers to actually be reading your posts, to actually be watching your stories, and to actually want to buy from you or join you. If you're buying just ghost followers just so that number goes up, that's not helping you in any way, shape, or form. Um, it's hurting you a lot, actually. And I'll get into that here in a second whenever I'm talking a little bit more about Instagram and Facebook. Yes, guys, come on in. Come on in. Um, Hello, hello. Hi to all of you. I'm not going to shout out everybody because I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to stay focused on this one. So first tip, first thing I have to say is 
if you are trying to grow your Instagram, it's really important. You want to stay consistent with posting. Post one time a day, once a day, okay? Um, and the reason why I say this is because a lot of people think that the more that they post on Instagram, like if they face like post like three times a day, four times a day, if they post like 10 times a day, it's going to be more engagement and more followers. It actually hurts your engagement on Instagram. The way that the algorithm is, it hurts your engagement to post a whole bunch in a day. And it hurts your engagement too. If you post only once every like three weeks, Instagram has something called a trust score. Okay. You can't see the score. There's, <laughs> there's a trust score on your account though. And it basically determines whether or not Instagram is going to show your content to followers or not. If you've got a bad trust score, it's not going to get shown to anybody. Okay. You want to up that trust score. Okay. And the way that you do that is by staying consistent with posting, post once a day. Okay. And only post once a day so that your posts are not like fighting with each other for engagement. Engagement is huge on Instagram right now. That is what they determine. That's what most of the algorithm focuses on is engagement. Okay. So one post a day, stay consistent with it. Don't post like 58 times a day. Okay. Because that's, <laughs> it's just a lot of work for you and nobody's seeing it. It's not helping you. Okay. So just once a day, stay consistent. Second thing, oh, stories, yes, you can, do, you can do all the stories, and it doesn't affect your algorithm. You should definitely, definitely be using stories. But show, okay? It's, yeah, it shows the behind the scenes, gets people to know, like, and trust you so much better. Um, and stories don't have to be perfect. Everything on Instagram has to be so, like, curated and, and aesthetic and, and all of this stuff in your actual feed. But stories can be just whatever right? Stories can be anything. Okay. And, and yes, the nitty gritty. Yes. So, so stories as much as you want, but post on your actual feed once a day. Okay. The second thing is engagement. Engagement is huge with Instagram. And that's what I've learned. <laughs> that's what I've learned. Most of Instagram's algorithm determines that your content is valuable and should be seen by more people based on your engagement score, okay? Your engagement score is determined by how many likes and comments you're getting on a post, okay? And it's also determined by, and that's divided by the number of followers that you have, okay? I actually have, I have the, the math, the math, the actual like, way that you can figure out your own engagement score. I don't know where to post it. I guess I'll post it underneath here after I'm done, but there is a way that you can figure out your, your engagement score and the higher your engagement score is the better. Okay. If you have a really low engagement score, you could have like 30,000 followers. And if only five people are liking or commenting on your stuff, your follower number does not matter. Okay. Brands, people like Instagram, they're all looking at your engagement score, not the number of followers that you have. So if you have 5,000 followers and you have hundreds of likes, tons of comments, lots of really good engagement, you are looked at as higher than a person that has 100,000 followers and zero engagement, okay? The number, the follower number up there literally does not matter anymore, okay? What they are looking at is engagement. So what you need to do is increase your engagement, Get people to comment on your stuff. Get people to like your stuff. Now, you may be saying, how the hell do I do that? <laughs> that brings me to my third tip. In order to increase your engagement, hey, Victoria, in order to increase your engagement, you have to be creating content that people find valuable. You have to create content that people find valuable. Something that educates, something that inspires, or something that entertains, okay? Those three things, you want to stick to that. You want to be real, you want to be authentic, but you also want to make sure that you're educating, you're inspiring, or you are um, entertaining in some way. Maybe it's humor, whatever. That's what you want to be focusing on. And then you also want to end your post with a call to action. Now, when I say call to action to social sellers, usually they think, okay, well, I got to ask them to buy from me or to join my business. No. <laughs> no, you should be doing a business or product call to action once every five posts, okay? You don't want to be jamming your opportunity down people's throats because they're going to burn out. 
and they're going to stop listening to you. They're going to stop. You're going to scare them away. Okay. You are more than just your opportunity. There's so much more, so much more value that you have to offer than just your product, your shake, your whatever vitamins. I don't know. (laughs) You've got more to offer. So, so it can't be a call to action to buy your product or to join your opportunity every time. When I say call to action, it can literally be as simple as what's your, you know, I, maybe I talked about my wardrobe. Maybe I talked about a, um, a bunch of clothes I just bought. What's your favorite spring accessory? That's a call to action. All you're doing is asking them to engage with your post in some way, even if that's giving their opinion answering a question, dropping an emoji, it doesn't matter. As long as they're engaging in some way, that is going to up your engagement score, which is good for you because your stuff is going to get seen by more people on Instagram. It gives you a chance to be on the explore page, which means that more people can find you. Okay. And it also helps to build that relationship with your followers as a social seller. That should be your number one concern is building the relationships with people, whether they buy from you or not, whether they join your opportunity or not, it may not be time for them yet, but you are a human, be a human. Interact with people on a human level. Just talk to them, build that relationship with them. And then when they are ready, who do you think they're gonna go to? They're gonna go to you because you built that relationship with them already. You already chatted with them about, you know, about whatever random stuff. Okay, but that starts by asking for the engagement, by asking for, um, you know, simple, just simple calls to action, guys. So simple. What's your, what's your favorite this? You know, what do you think about this? Drop an emoji if you agree. Double tap if you agree. Like, like simple, just simple stuff like that. Just get the conversation going. And then the people that are ready, the people that, that want what you have, it will get to that point. Okay. But if you're just like immediately jumping on, (laughs) join my team or, or, or buy my product, you're scaring people away and you're, and you're burning those bridges that didn't need to be burned. Okay. And, and, and that's just the long and short of it. (laughs) Okay. So those are my three tips guys. Um, post month day, Work on your engagement, up that engagement score, and then, um, you know, give people calls to action so that you can start building those relationships and help your engagement score as well. I have a ton, a ton more Instagram information, you guys, a ton more Instagram information. Um, I actually have a free Instagram guide that you're more than welcome to download. Um, Let me actually, let me know below if you want the Instagram guide guys. It's like I said, it's free. It's a little ebook. It literally breaks down every piece of Instagram and the things that you need to be implementing to grow your Instagram organically. Okay. And, and there's tons of really good information in there. I give it to my team. Um, but I'm more than happy to share it with you guys as well. So if you want that Instagram guide, um, drop, drop, a something down below. I don't know, an emoji or, or not an emoji because that'll get confusing. Just say, give me the guide. (laughs) Just say, give me the guide and I'll send it to you. Um, and I know that it'll help you grow your Instagram. Guys, um, hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was drop some hearts in the comments, um, tag your teammates in it, uh, share it out to people, whatever it is that you you, you want to do, um, if, if you got anybody, if you know anybody that needs some Instagram help and they're a social seller, network marketer, whatever you want to call it, um, this is definitely going to help. So, um, that's that guys, I'm going to pop off of here and I will already see people saying, give me the guide. I will, I will. I'm going to go through these comments as soon as this is over and I'll, I'll send you guys all, um, the link. So guys, I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Love ya. Bye-bye.